Hello, Sussex Squaddies. Welcome back to Sussex Squadron, the channel that supports Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in everything they do. I'm your host. Today, I have a very important topic to discuss with you. You may have seen the headlines from the Express newspaper, one of the most notorious tabloids in the UK, that accused Prince Harry and Meghan Markle of environmental hypocrisy after taking seven flights in 14 days. The article claimed that the Sussexes were jet-setters who flew around the world for various events while preaching about climate change and sustainability. The article also implied that they were wasting taxpayers' money and damaging the reputation of the royal family. Well, I'm here to tell you why this article is nothing but a pile of rubbish and why Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are actually doing a great job of raising awareness and taking action on environmental issues. I'm also going to show you how the Express newspaper is guilty of spreading fake news, bias, and propaganda, and why you should not trust anything they say. Let me say that this article is full of lies, misinformation, and bias. The Express is known for being a tabloid that constantly attacks the Sussexes for anything they do. And this is just another example of their agenda. They claim that Harry and Meghan are hypocrites for preaching about climate change while flying around the world in private jets, but they conveniently ignore the facts and the context behind their travels. Let's start with the facts. The article says that Harry and Meghan took seven flights in 14 days, but it doesn't mention that four of those flights were commercial flights, not private jets. They flew from London to New York on a British Airways flight, then from New York to San Francisco on a United Airlines flight, then from San Francisco to Los Angeles on a Delta Airlines flight, and then from Los Angeles back to London on another British Airways flight. These are all regular flights that anyone can book and take, and they have nothing to do with Harry and Meghan's personal choices or preferences. They were simply traveling to attend various events and engagements that were part of their work and their mission. The Express article based its accusations on a report by an organization called Carbon Footprint Leltied, which calculated the carbon emissions of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's flights between August 6 and August 19, 2023. The report claimed that the Sussexes emitted 26.9 tons of carbon dioxide during this period, which is more than the average person in Britain emits in a year. However, there are several problems with this report. First of all, Carbon Footprint LTD is not an independent or reputable source of information. It is actually a company that sells carbon offsetting services, which means that they have a financial interest in exaggerating the impact of carbon emissions and promoting their own products. In fact, their website states that they are the UK's leading provider of carbon management solutions. Secondly, the report did not take into account the fact that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle offset their carbon emissions by supporting various environmental projects around the world. For example, they donated to a charity called African Parks, which protects wildlife and habitats in Africa. They also supported a project called Travelist, which is Prince Harry's initiative to promote sustainable tourism and reduce the environmental impact of travel. These projects not only compensate for the carbon emissions of their flights, but also have positive effects on biodiversity, conservation, and local communities. Thirdly, the report did not consider the purpose and context of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's flights. The Sussexes did not fly for leisure or pleasure, but for important humanitarian and diplomatic missions. For example, they flew to New York to attend the Global Citizen Live concert which was a global event to raise funds and awareness for ending poverty, hunger, and climate change. They also flew to South Korea to visit a memorial for British soldiers who died in the Korean War and to meet with President Moon Jae-in. They also flew to Botswana to launch a new partnership between their foundation Archewell and World Central Kitchen, which is a charity that provides meals to people affected by disasters. These flights were not frivolous or selfish, but meaningful and impactful. 
Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are not environmental hypocrites. They are environmental heroes. They are using their platform and influence to raise awareness and take action on one of the most urgent and important issues of our time, climate change. They are not only talking the talk, but walking the walk. They are not only offsetting their carbon emissions, but also supporting projects that make a difference. They are not only flying for themselves, but for others who need their help. So you see, Harry and Meghan are not hypocrites. They are heroes. They are not flying around the world for themselves. They are flying around the world for others. They are not harming the environment. They are helping the environment. They are not part of the problem. They are part of the solution. I'm proud to be a fan of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And that's why I'm proud to be a part of Sussex Squadron. Because we are a community of people who share their values and vision. We are a community of people who care about the planet and the people. We are a community of people who stand up for what is right and speak out against what is wrong. That's why I'm challenging The Express for their article that accuses Harry and Meghan of environmental hypocrisy. It's not journalism. It's propaganda. It's not based on facts. It's based on lies. It's not fair. It's biased. It's not informative. It's misleading. It's not constructive. It's destructive. Join me in supporting Harry and Meghan in everything they do. They deserve our respect, our admiration, our gratitude, and our love. They are not only a royal couple. They are a global couple. They are not only celebrities. They are leaders. They are not only human beings. They are role models. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this topic. And before I go, I want to send a shout out to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle themselves. If you're watching this, I want you to know that you have my full support and admiration. You are an inspiration to me and millions of others around the world. You are making a positive impact on the world with your courage, compassion, and creativity. You are showing us how to live authentically, generously, and joyfully. You are showing us how to be better human beings.